Look what I have here. It's the GoPro Karma. And look what I don't have here. A representative from GoPro who can filter what I'm gonna say about this draw. So where should I begin? GoPro Karma is... Unquestionably. Inarguably. Unarguably. 89 decibels. Without a doubt. There's something sticking out from here. The worst drone I have ever flown. Yep, it's the worst. Look at all the other drones out there today with all the features. Almost all of them have vision sensors, sonar sensors, obstacle avoidance, intelligent flight modes. Tracking, following, tap fly, precision landing, terrain follow, the list goes on and on. And what does this have? Please don't poke my eye out. Nothing. No sensors, no extra cameras. However, it has four tricks it can do. GoPro calls them auto shot pads. And since it has no vision sensors or obstacle avoidance, these tricks are performed like a circus act blindfolded, which we will take a look at later. This so-called convenient and portable karma system that makes you ask yourself why wouldn't I take karma with me today is actually heavier than a complete Phantom 4 system with three batteries and an Osmo mobile on top of it. And that's just the beginning of the bad news. Nipple pasties. If you're serious about a portable convenient drone, Karma is the Jabba the Hutt of the bunch. As you can guess, it is also extremely big next to Mavic. It feels like cheap plastic. This feels more, a lot more sturdy. This is the Karma grip handle. Right out of the box, it has some wear and tear. I don't know what that is all about. Oh, we have some mounts here. This is the remote. These are the propellers. Paper, some GoPro stickers. There's a weird plastic on the remote. There's something sticking out from here. That was supposed to stay in there. But it came out and it's stuck here, it's stuck right here. And on top of that, GoPro Karma is not much of a looker either. See, when I look at an Inspire 1, I see Karate Kid doing a crane kick. When I look at Phantom 4, I see E. When I look at Mavic, I see Aventador, I see R8, I see Batwing. But when I see, as Mr. Woodman calls it, the Karma system, I see bicycle kickstands attached to a shampoo bottle that has a crock in it. And I'm not even done yet. When I see this remote, I see a makeup bag. And when I see this flashlight, I see a lightsaber. Honestly, I believe no one captured their inner child while they were designing this. No one had fun putting these together. It was as if they said, let's just have a drone out there. Let's just have a stabilizer out there. And then there's the name, Karma. Sounds like a two chord song your ex-lover would write about you. I'm gonna run you over with my karma, bitch. I'm gonna run you over, bitch. But I'm enough with the chit chat. Let's go fly some drones. Now, I know what you're thinking. What's with that tilted horizon? Well, first of all, how dare you judge Karma's artistic eye? Second, it is called Dutch tilt or Dutch angle, thank you very much. And third, no, there is no calibration setting for it. So when it happens, it happens.
problem I'm having with this is that it's moving by itself, it's drifting a lot. Watch what happens when Mavic takes off in the regular mode. This is not the tripod mode and Mavic is comfortably sitting in the air. Meanwhile, GoPro Karma is like a drunk driver trying to act sober. What is it doing? It's really not a good drone for a first time flying. And slowly but surely, loud and drunk Karma landed on the sidewalk by itself and passed out. <laughs> by the way, I already have 14 minutes of flight remaining and I haven't done anything yet. Watch the remaining time under that 95% sign while I fly the Mavic. As you can see, the second sometimes goes faster than the real time. Obviously, this happens because the battery life is affected by the work it is doing during the flight. When it comes to karma, not only the drone flies, but also the time flies. In just 28 seconds, Carmel's battery went from 15 minutes 6 seconds to 11 minutes and 52 seconds. I wanted to push this test until the battery is dead, but Karma got the weather conditions on its side. Just like the horizon tilt issue, this fast battery draining happens infrequently. But frequently enough to catch me off guard right after the drone flew under a power line that goes to lifeguard's tower. All of a sudden Karma took the control from me to fly home and tried to land on a car. Fun times. Luckily while landing I can move the Karma around. What I also can do is, since there is no downward sensor, I can land the drone as fast as I like. So now I'd like to try auto shot paths. Gonna select droney. So now I'm gonna select the start point, which is this. All right, I'm gonna hit play. Now it's moving back by itself to create this shot. Once it's done, you fly it back yourself. And that was it. That was the droney. If we have time, let's look at cable cam. Let's say this is point A. And then let's say that is point B. And now it is flying between these two points by itself and I have 10 minutes of flight remaining and you can adjust the speed as well all right that's that's enough reveal it adjusted the camera by itself it's looking Three, down two, one. and look at that hollywood shot of the ocean there's one more and that is orbit. Distance from the controller must be, must be at least 7 feet. Okay, how about this? Now I'm gonna fly back here. And set the outer point. Now it is orbiting around me. Actually not me, it's just the point I set. So this could have been anything. And I have to watch out for the obstacles. And I have seven minutes of battery life left. I can adjust the speed here with the touch screen. I can make it go higher. All over. All 
All right, let's stop. I have six minutes of, uh, it's landing by itself again. All right, get up, get up. You have to constantly watch the drone. The, whatever the tripod mode Mavic has, this is completely the opposite. It's the handheld mode, I guess. Look, I didn't do that. That bothers me a lot. See, the wide angle makes that weird bubble effect. All right, now I'm gonna go back. We're gonna check the return home feature. Let's see how good that is. Hitting the button, return to launch. Karma is returning to the launch location. And now it's supposed to be coming back. I gotta say, it's not that bad. That's not bad at all. Now I wanted to talk the differences between two drones as I was flying Karma around. Sadly, that didn't happen because Karma's flight time is actually a lot less than 20 minutes. So let's sit down and talk about the main differences between Karma and Mavic. Karma has 1.8 mile, which is three kilometers range and Mavic has 4.3 miles, which is seven kilometers. When it comes to speed, Karma can go up to 35 miles, which is 57 kilometers, and Mavic can go up to 40 miles, which is 65 kilometers per hour. GoPro's website says Karma can fly up to 20 minutes, and Mavic can fly up to 27 minutes. Let's talk about noise. This is really noisy can be really annoying it is 89 decibels and this on the other hand <laughs> is really quiet it is 83.4 decibels forward and downward vision system uh, no yes five of them camera depends on what you mount on this you can change the harness it can be hero 4 black hero 5 black or hero 5 session and this comes with its own camera gopros are fixed focus this is autofocus, which is something I love. If we're talking about Hero 5 Black, it is 12 megapixel 4K camera that shoots 60 megabits per second, which is exactly the same over here. It's a 12 megapixel 4K camera that shoots 60 megabits per second. This is detachable, and I wish this was detachable. This would be my only camera if this was detachable. Precision landing? Nope. Yes, when I was landing this for the first time, it landed exactly to the place it took off. When I did it the second time, not so much. It almost landed on a car. Intelligent flight modes, yes, a lot of them actually. And no, Mavic has gesture mode. You can make the drone follow you. You can make the drone take a photo of you. And this has not, nothing like that. So the horizon tilt, when it happens, I don't know how to fix it with this. On this one, you can adjust it, and on the remote, there's a shortcut where you can adjust it on the go. Tripod mode, this one, haha, <laughs> clueless. And this one, yes, it has a fantastic tripod mode. And then, we have the propellers. These are the self-tightening propellers, which are actually a little dangerous when it comes to braking and then speeding up. They can come off. On the other hand, Mavic has push and release propellers that doesn't have that problem. My Karma has a Hero 4 Black on it, so I know. The camera test with Mavic is a little unfair. While I was planning this segment, I was planning to get a Hero 5 Black and just pointed at the same scenes to have a nice side-by-side -side comparison, but Karma turned out to be such a bad drone, I didn't care about the camera quality. But hey, let's say Hero 5 Black is much better than Mavic's camera. Because Hero 4 Black definitely isn't. Now let's compare the remotes. This is GoPro's remote. You don't need to use a separate device. Everything is in here. This is the power button, start, stop button. And then this is return home button. And then the regular joysticks. We have record button here. And then this is to put a marker while you're filming and this is to tilt the camera. On the other hand, 
Mavic has return home button here, power on button here, and then we have five-way joystick here for making the camera look down, look up, they're all customizable. This is the Pause Intelligent Flights, and here we have record video, take photo, adjust aperture, adjust camera tilt, and then two customizable buttons, and then sport button. Also, the joysticks feel a lot more firmer. Has a USB connection here, has a micro USB here. Now let's see which remote boots up faster. Now this is a little bit tricky because this remote turns on just with one click and with this one you have to click once and then tap and hold until it starts booting up. And it's here, it says swipe up to begin. I don't know why we have to swipe up to begin, but there it is. Now let's swipe back down. Here, all this screen is because there's this menu here where you can look at your media, files, and it loads pretty fast. And then you have maps, you have to download maps. You can pinch to zoom out. You can see the restricted areas, which is really nice. Um, if you want to add this, you come here and then you hit download and then it gives you this area and then you hit download, specify name, gaga, and it starts downloading. You don't have to do that kind of a thing here because it is connected to your phone and then on your phone it gets the maps by itself. And this is gonna take a while. So I'm gonna cancel it if I can. Yes, please cancel, we don't need that. I never go to Gaga anyways. And then, let's move on. We have learn, which is hilarious. Learn to fly, practice flying. Which is very similar to the flight simulator we have here. As you can see, the flight simulator is already ready, but this is loading. You can practice almost everything in this and it feels very realistic. Now let's look at this. Three, two, one. And look at that frame rate. First of all, <laughs> it is really bad. This is nothing like how Karma flies, by the way. Let's see if I can kill myself. No, I can't even kill myself. Ooh, nice. Go back a little bit. Look at that. I even have teeth. Now, that's some detail. Way to go, way to go GoPro. Let's see what else I have. No, I don't have what you're thinking. All right, let's get out of this. <laughs> There's connect where you set your Wi-Fi. To go back, you hit here and then we have preferences. And in preferences, we have voice alerts, volume, Brightness, sleep display, language, units, and settings reset, which I don't want to do that. The reason I'm showing this is there's no date and time setting. All right, let's swipe up. GPS not available. It's Move okay. Karma to a new location. It's okay, we're not gonna fly. Auto shot pads are located here, but since we, we're landed, we cannot control those, so let's go here. We have flight settings, volume, brightness, easy mode, on and off. Not much explanation right there. You have to go and read the manual. Flight limits, distance and attitude. Camera tilt, you adjust the camera tilt speed right there, and then passenger app, we're gonna come back to that front lights and then calibration. In the calibration we have compass, accelerometer, joysticks and tilt wheel, but we don't have gimbal calibration. 
And here you can adjust your camera, your mode, capture mode, resolution, frames, field of view, low light, spot meter, and then Pro Tune on and off. Mavic has all that. And on top of that, we have intelligent flight modes, such as gesture mode, active track mode, tap fly, terrain follow, tripod, point of interest, waypoints, follow me mode, home lock, course lock. So whatever this does in the automatic flight modes, this does the same thing and then some more. And as you can see, there's a lot more information on the screen, which I believe is required because this is not a toy especially this is a two kilo flying dumbbell you need a lot more information on your screen but no and then you can swipe from left if you can and it shows the last uh, current flight session media and then you can swipe from top down and then you go back to this screen again i don't know why we need this screen. GPS not available. And every time you Move come back to a new location, this um, British lady starts talking. GPS not available. You can find much more detailed review of Mavic right here. You click right there. You can watch my video. But on this one, everything is a little too much simplified, and I don't understand why. Because this drone shouldn't be simplified if you like you can add a second controller to the same mavic but on gopro karma there is this app called passenger app what was that a pass what was that passenger app and now let's take a look at this wonderful passenger app so here passenger app you will be amazed you turn this on allow passengers to view your flight and then it gives you a wi-fi name and then a wi-fi password karma passenger here it is let's enter password karma one two three four and then join and yeah it doesn't join <laughs> Passenger, karma, one, two, three, four. And no, we cannot connect to it, so we cannot see it. <laughs> Who did the quality control for this? I'm sure it's going to be fine with an update or something. But seriously, at this point, it's like a joke. Let's talk about how many things are at my fingertips with this remote controller. Just by holding it, I'm holding the joysticks, these four, and the custom buttons. And pause button is right here, which is a really important button. Let's do the digital zoom. I can click. I'm going to intelligent flight modes. If I want to do anything, I have to let one of my hands go so I can touch the screen because you cannot touch it like this. And since Karma drifts so much, you don't want to let any of these joysticks go at all. And But you have to. I think GoPro is aiming this one guy I saw in an interview once. He was talking about how he surfed. He was saying things like, and then the waves were like, whoopish. And then I was like, whoopa. And then it was like, dickish. And then I'm going, whoopa. I think that guy is their main focus with this product. I think that, not that guy, I don't wanna, I'm sure he's a really nice guy. Remember when I did this real life test with Phantom 4 and Mavic? If you don't let me explain, the goal is to see how long it takes to unpack, set the drone up, fly to the trash can and come back, pack and sit back into the car. And for the calibration dance, you have to sing all the single ladies. Ready? One. Two, three. All right, the remote is turning on. The remote is on. 
Swipe up to begin. Up in the club, just one cup, do my whole new thing. If you like, then you should have put a ring on it. If you like, then you should have put a ring on it. Oh, 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 oh. It failed. Failed again. So when I tried to calibrate by following the graphics on the screen, it failed twice. And on the third try, when I let the drone be in the center point, the calibration worked. But at that point, I started feeling a little dizzy, as you can guess. And for the timing, since the remote takes so long to boot and calibration keeps failing, I knew things were not going well for the Karma. Yes. Mavic finished this test in 2 minutes and 47 seconds. Phantom 4 finished in 3 minutes and 37 seconds. And Karma in 4 minutes and 29 seconds. And done. What if I was to tell you that this GoPro Karma is also magical? Yes, you can shoot tomorrow's footage today with Karma. Isn't that fantastic? Let me show you. Let's look at the date. 27... 7... This says 7-11. We're close. All right. Now I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna put it where it belongs. All right, let's turn this on. Let's turn this on. So how have you been? What's new with you? Tell me about yourself. What is your favorite color? Here we go, here we go. Fantastic. Don't, don't look how untidy that part is. I have to take care of that part, it is insanely untidy. But that's good enough, right? Let's let's just shoot a video for a second and turn it, stop it. And uh, we can turn this off, I guess, right? Powering off. Yes. Very good. Now, let's take our GoPro out without breaking the Karma, I'm gonna come close like this. And let's go into the settings. And voila! Thanks to this magic trick that happens the second you mount your GoPro Hero to Karma, and it happens every time by the way, you end up with tomorrow's footage today. It is also a great and hilarious fun situation while you're editing. If I was to describe Karma as a smartphone, I'd probably say... It is like a brand new smartphone you buy from Metro PCS. Alright, enough with the drone system. Now let's take a look at the grip. The grip does a fine stabilization job. It is easy to use because it doesn't have much bells and whistles. Actually, it is my favorite piece from the Karma system. Or is it? Grip usually makes this high-pitched sound and it is easily captured by the camera. Now let's see what happens when you mount the grip on the Karma coffin. As you can see, when you mount the grip, the buttons on the handle are facing the back. 
which I'm sure there's a way to set it up, but I wasn't able to find it. Of course, this backpack mount is not the best. The camera gets easily hit with your arm, and if you move too much, the stabilizer cannot do much about it. This is to turn it on. And it's turned on. So, it works just like a regular stabilizer. It is actually quite nice and quite durable. I wouldn't do this with my Osmo Mobile. My phone would probably fly off. So as you can see, this is not bad. It just lost its balance a little bit. So this is the problem, see? You need Hero 5 so you can see what's going on back here. This is not really for Hero 4. When you touch this, when you point it down, it's following you. The camera looks down, the camera looks up, and whatever angle I let it go, if I, when I let go the, off the button, it stays looking at that angle. But still, I can turn it left and right which I believe is something that is missing because even when I'm pushing the button I can still make it look left and right and when I click it once it resets when I click it twice nothing happens when I click it three times nothing happens again that is that's a fantastic feature and then we have mode but since you cannot see what's going on here when you hit mode you have to look <laughs> look at what's going on here, there's something I like to point out as well. As you can see, grip is charging the camera. And this one is to put marker, let's say you're shooting something and something really interesting happened that you want to go back and look at it, you hit this and it creates a marker right there. So when you go back to your editing or whatever, you can find that point easily. And this is to record or take a photo depending on what mode you're in and this is of course the battery life and you charge it from here and this is good this is good I like this the only problem is when you start doing this it just kind of gets confused but you can use it upside down that is good see with Osmo I have much more features first of all I have this joystick here where I can rotate the camera up and I can rotate it wherever I want. And this trigger, when I pull this trigger, it just keeps on looking at the same direction no matter where I'm turning the handle, which is something I love. And when you let it go, it, it just follows your actions. When I double click it, it resets. And when I click it three times, it turns into selfie mode. DJI app is really good. I can live broadcast and then this tracks you. This does motion time lapse. They select this for the first frame and we let's say we want it to end here. And then you hit next. Let's see 30 seconds. So you can create fantastic motion time lapses just with this. On the other hand, this one doesn't do anything at all. It's just ridiculously sturdy. I can take a video, I can take a photo really easily with all these controls I have. And on top of that, it just this just fits into your hand. This is not bad either, but this just feels perfect in your hand and I can use whatever app I want I don't have to use DJI's app I can use Periscope I can use the camera app iPhone's camera app and with this I can just hold it like that and arrange it I can make it look wherever I want it to look this one doesn't like that very much and look what happens when I hold this sideways or upside down or all the way like this I can shoot in portrait mode 
GoPro Grip's battery life is 1.75 hours. And that is probably because it's also charging the camera. On the other hand, DJI Osmo Mobile's battery life is 4.5 hours. A lot more than this guy. But this guy isn't charging your phone. Before I end this in-depth review, I had to do one last very important test which made me look so cool that people changed to the other sidewalk. I had really high hopes about Karma. Maybe the product I had has something wrong with it. I don't know. Look at this. It scratched itself. What kind of a product that is prepared with portability and convenience in mind can be so amateurish and disappointing? And dangerous for the fragile drone world where tons of rules rain one after the other just because of one crash. Remember how drones got banned in national parks? A first time flyer will crash this drone so fast that this black backpack will be Karma's coffin. If I see Mr. Woodman personally, I will tell this to his face as well. Oh, karma! It's so much more than a drone! What? No. No, it's not so much more than a drone. It is just a drone. It's not just aerial. It's not handheld, wearable or mountable. Karma is all of those things. It's a complete system. Sean took all that very complicated technology that goes into Karma and simplified it enough that anyone can take Karma and put it up in air with no problem. Anyone can fly this? Do you even hear? Wait a minute. Are you just repeating what you said in introduction to karma video? <laughs> so, there's nothing you like about karma? First of all, thank you for asking nicely like this. See, when you stop forcing it, it's a lot easier. Sorry about my aggressive marketing skills. Aggressive marketing skills? Which you like thoroughly, but let me tell you what I like. I think the karma grip is fine. It's just fine. It's good. It does what it's supposed to do and it feels sturdy. So if I go outside, I wouldn't mind dropping it on the ground. I wouldn't mind falling it off a bicycle with it on my head. I think it's just good. I think the fact that the remote doesn't require extra device like a phone or a tablet is cool. It's not bad. It's cool. I also like that you can close the lid of the remote and put it in your bag and you don't need to worry about the joysticks or the buttons or anything. Everything is inside. Also, after all, with this system, you'll be owning a GoPro Hero camera. I like that they released a drone and a stabilizer. I like competition. I'm glad that they're in the market now. It's just that Karma isn't ready. I wish it was a product that pushed the competition. Okay, what are you doing? Uh, Don't do it! Karma! It's so much more, more than, than a drone. drone! Except it isn't. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode and I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that subscribe button. I must have a subscribe button somewhere here on the screen. Hit that subscribe button and join the world domination! And please let me know what you think about the karma system in the comment section below. <coughs> and until I see you the next time, take really good care of yourselves and horse chocolate.